what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to set up a LinkedIn profile from scratch. So what we're going to do is set up everything from your profile, uh, how to network with people, how to add uh, communities, also, uh, also add uh, companies as well. Uh, so you are all ready and up and ready going for LinkedIn. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here in the sign in section. Actually, no, we're going to go into the join now section, apologies. And so let's type in. Let's just do a password. And then we just do this, agree and join. So I'm just going to say, that's what I'm going to say. All right. So now it's just doing a quick security check just to verify uh, if they know anyone um, or if you've used that profile. And I'll just going to do this. Cool. All right, so we're just gonna say whatever location you are, so I'm in Australia, we'll just say postcode because that is the CBD um, and in Melbourne, so next. Uh, most recent job title, so I'm gonna say recruitment consultant. Uh, most recent company, I'm just gonna say one of the banks, so Westpac. Um, so you can also select that uh, if you are a student, um, but I'm going to do information technology and services is what I'm going to select. All right, so let's confirm, type in the code we sent. So we are back. Um, so now I've got the email um, that allows me to verify my account. So let's just get this rocking and rolling. Why? This is not working. Perhaps we can do this. Actually, we'll go that. So, guys, um, as I was mentioning, um, LinkedIn is an awesome platform to not only network, uh, find out a little bit about what organizations are doing. Um, so, here I'm going to not put in my, looks like I'm going to have to. But in sometimes you will have to put your mobile. I don't have to, which is great. Um, so jumping right back to it. So LinkedIn profile is an amazing platform to not only find jobs, to also understand what careers are out there. Um, great way to network. Um, don't feel shy in terms of adding people. Um, people are always wanting to sort of expand the network. Um, it is becoming a lot more of like an influencer type uh, platform uh, so very similar to sort of your instagrams and what have you uh, but you really get some really um, education type content which is really good for not only your learning aspect uh, but just sort of seeing what else is out there in the world and that's why i love linkedin um, as a recruiter you know we sit on this almost every day trying to find uh, different types of candidates um, a lot of what you'll find is um, a lot of organizations are now using this platform as a B2B type uh, platform. Uh, so that you'll probably see in the next couple of years or even the next year where LinkedIn will really start to uh, grow from that angle. So guys, uh, I'm gonna click here and then show you just um, what sort of photo that you need to put up. So make sure that it does have a neutral background um, and, and make sure that it is an, a professional photo. This is not sort of your, your social media where you can sort of have um, multiple people in your photo or, you know, it's a little bit goofy. Here you want to sort of represent as who you are, um, depending on the type of industry that you're in. If you are in sort of marketing or sales or, or what have you, you know, you can be probably a little bit less formal, but um, you know, the safe bet for me would always definitely try and do something that is quite uh, formal. So guys, I'm going to do one and use a camera here because I've got a nice clear background, hopefully. Uh, I'm just going to allow that. 
Oh, was unable to. All right, we'll just use, this is probably a little bit too, um, too happy, I guess, but uh, you sort of get the sense. So really to really show your face, show that you are approachable, uh, make sure that you are smiling um, as that is always a good uh, indicator for when recruiters are looking at a profile. So I'm just gonna use this as an example, but uh, you get the gist of what I am saying in terms of what you need to get done. So that's there, so nice neutral background. So you guys on here is where you can change your banner. Um, so a great platform is using Canva. Um, you can choose quite a number of banners, but uh, for the meantime, you can sort of leave that as per normal. Um, as we scroll down, so it will have your full name here um, and it will also let you know what title um, that you wanna pop in. You can change that by using this uh, segment here where it shows the pencil. So scrolling down, so this, this box here shows that uh, recruiters that you are open uh, to new opportunities. So if we click that, so that just lets you know, you can also say what other roles that you're open for. So recruitment consultant. So let's just say, for example, I'll just say um, senior recruitment consultant. Um, and you can also say, uh, for example, recruitment manager. Um, so depending, you could be, for example, an accountant, um, right? So it will provide you a range of selection of jobs that and also the types of jobs that you want. And also, um, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. You can also say which locations that you would like to be. So for example, um, I might want to be in sunny Queensland. Um, and so these are ways where you can just let recruiters know what areas are you open to? Um, as we scroll down, you can say that you're immediately available or flexible, um, which is really, really good. And then you can also let them know you're open to full-time contracting, part-time. You may be looking for an internship or um, casual type work. So we add that to profile. And then we want to make sure to share that with all LinkedIn members. So let's do that. And that goes there. So what you'll see guys is a lot of, um, or what LinkedIn has done is allow people to let recruiters know from this green symbol that you're open to work. So what that effectively means is when a recruiter skim past your profile, they know straight away that you are open to work. So it's, very, it's really, really easy guys. So as you can see here, we can go start to post. Um, and you can just say, hey everyone, I'm looking for a new role. And this is what LinkedIn allows you to do. So we don't need to do that right now, but you're more than welcome to. So as you scroll down, um, it lets you know, you know, how strong is your CV or your LinkedIn profile, right? So what we want to do is let's work with it. So it'll ask what university or school did you attend? Now guys, what I wanna let you know is you can actually leave out the actual dates of um, when you graduated uh, as we don't need that because that can also be um, used as a way to sort of discriminate um, by ageism. So what I would suggest is you can leave that as, if you would like to leave it on, you're more than welcome to, um, but for people that are a little bit self-conscious, no need to put the year that you finished up. So let's just add an education. So I'm just gonna say, I went to Deakin University. Um, so we'll add that and then it lets you know, um, and then we'll go add to profile. Um, and you can do that or you can skip. So let's just say, for example, I'm gonna skip that. What was my major? I'm gonna say business. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say management. Um, okay. Whoop. Oh, okay. That's what I need to do. Anyway, you get the idea. So I'm just going to say, what did it, degree did you get? So prior to that, I'm not sure why it's moved it, but you would put down your majors. Um, and so my majors were human resources and marketing. Um, and we'll just down management and then done. So perfect guys, um, now we can go uh, to your summary. So guys, what the summary section is, is really a short synopsis of who you are and what you've been doing. So for example, this is what I would write 
Um, So firstly, let them know how many years of experience that you've had. Um, so guys, this is off the fly, so specializing. So what I would be writing is letting the recruiter know, so when they look at your page, they have a really, really quick um, access of who you are and what, you, what it is that you've been doing. So for me, an established senior recruitment consultant with over, over seven years of experience, specializing in IT recruitment, having had experience in agency and internal recruitment functions. Uh, the area of specialization, is within project space and or let's not say project say in business transformation and cyber security um, and and that's as much as i would put a lot of people want to put um a whole lot more um, and you're more than welcome to depending on what um or what it is that you do, uh, you could be for a, maybe you may be an owner of a business, you may want to put a little bit more and put your service offerings. Um, or if you're a project manager, you may have handled quite a number of different projects that you're really proud of and you want to put in there. Uh, for me, the main things that you would want to put in here, so another one, technologies. So this would be around technology CRMs. So I would say um, page up. Um, Salesforce. Uh, so here, the reason why I'm doing this is this is a great way for recruiters to search on the back end what type of technologies that you may be um, suitable for. Um, say, for example, I'm looking for a Salesforce developer. So as you can imagine, I would be looking up on the back end. We'd do a Boolean search and go Salesforce, right? So as long as you've got that in your profile and you're in Melbourne and what have you, you know, you should come up. There obviously are a lot of other ways to optimize your page, but for example, say that's why you would list down these type of things in your profile. So let's just add that to profile. Um, so as we go down, so again, as you scroll down your page, um, right here it shows westpac right but what i want to try and do is actually link it back to that organization so you click on that photo um and you click that and that should tie it back if not it might actually go back so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go back to the profile so just bear with me so what we're going to do here is that's adding yeah cool so we'll just go here and then click that so then it links back to the page guys so you can just say uh, what role you are so title um, employment type so we'll just say full-time for example uh, location so we'll just say melbourne and it'll come down with a drop down list. Um, and I will just say that I'm currently working there. Um, update my industry or update my, we don't need to do that for now. So in the description, um, let's just say currently recruiting within the technology division, uh, assisting within the um, financial financial um, financial department um, 
and let's just say that for example but that's that's essentially what you would write so here is where you'd put like a short synopsis of what it is your role entails make sure to also list down the technologies that you use um, and anything else that you feel necessary to share but just give us a little bit of a gist like two sentences two to three sentences and just a list of technologies that you use alrighty uh, into the date so let's just say August and we started in 2015 and as you can see guys you start to slowly build out your page alrighty so um, now let's say for example we want to start networking with some people so let's just go to Westpac and say this is for people that may not even have any experience and just really want to start connecting with people to really understand so as you can see here see all of these employees so it will let us know sometimes it won't let us click in so if it says linkedin member that just means that it's outside of our network so let's see what we can do let's just write recruitment consultant so i'm just going to see if we can potentially find anyone um, we'll try that search again no so one second so even here, like it, it, it's come up on our feed, right guys? So even if I wanted to connect with some people just to start building your network, right? I can just click on John, for, for example, or uh, Mithen, for example, and I would start adding these people. Um, and this will start to build your network. And once you start building your network, you can start to um, get access to other people's networks. So it's a really, really great way to start building don't feel too shy about adding random people this is a professional network and that's what you want to try and do but guys this is just a quick overview on how to build your linkedin profile thank you